Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this home page with this full screen video background. And we also have some hover effects over here. So for the button, we have this hover effect where the background color changes. And we also have hover effects for these menu items over here. We can see we have these underlines over here. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the screen, we can see that we have this menu button over here. And if I click on that, we have the menu displayed over here. And if I click on this close button, the menu goes back. So this is what we're going to start designing in this video. Now in this video, we will write the HTML of this design. And from the next video, we will write the CSS and we will make it look like this. So let's get started. All right, I have created this folder called full screen video BG over here and I have this folder called videos and in that we have this mp4 file and we're going to use this as the background of our website. Now let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's create a new file and I'll just name it index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. Let's name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file. Let's call it main.js. All right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and uh, here in the href I'll just type style.css and in the body I'll just add the link of the JavaScript file. So I'll just create a script tag over here and in the src I'll just type main.js. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will get the link of these fonts. So we need to have two fonts over here. So let's go to fonts.google.com. All right, here I'm in fonts.google.com. So let's search for the fonts that we want. The first font is Roboto. So we have the font right here. I'll just click on the font. And we need to select a style from here. So let's select regular 400. And I think we need to have just one style. All right now let's search for the next font. So the font that we need is called Sacramento. And here we have the font. So let's select the font and let's select this style. All right now let's click on this button called view your selected families. And uh, here we have the two fonts selected. Now let's copy this link and uh, let's paste it inside the HTML. So we need to paste it inside the head tag. So I'll just paste it over here. And we also need to add the link of font awesome. So for these icons over here, we are using font awesome. So let's get the CDN of Font Awesome. So you can just search for Font Awesome CDN and uh, you can find the link of cdnjs.com. So let's go to the website and uh, let's copy this link. Let's copy the link of all.min.css. So let's click on this button called copy link tag. And let's go back to our HTML. And uh, let's paste it over here. And here for the title, I'll just type welcome. All right, now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. So we'll give it a class of main container. Now the first thing we will add over here is the video. So let's create a video tag. And in that we'll create a source tag. Now in the source tag, we will add an attribute called src. And here we'll add the link of the video. So I'll just have videos forward slash bg.mp4. And we also need to add the type of the video over here. So let's type type equals and we'll just type video forward slash mp4. Right now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. Now once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. Right now we can see our design is displayed over here in the browser and we have the video thumbnail displayed over here, but the video is not being played. So for that, we have to add some attributes to the video tag. So let's go back. And here for the video tag, let's add an attribute called autoplay. And we'll also add an attribute called loop so that when the video ends, it starts again. And we'll also add an attribute called muted so that even if the video has some audio, it will be muted. Right now, let's go back to our website. And here we can see that our video is being played. So everything is working all right. Let's go back and let's add the other elements that we need. The next element that we need is an overlay. So here we can see we have this dark overlay for the video. So the video is not being displayed as bright as here. So for that, let's add a division 
and for the division I'll just give it a class of BG overlay and that's it with the division we will style it using CSS if we go back to our design we won't see any difference over here because we haven't styled it all right now the next thing we will add is the nav bar so if we go back to our original design we can see we have this logo over here on the left and we have the menu items over here on the right so let's create a nav element and in that we will have a division with the class of logo for the logo and for the logo we'll create an anchor tag because when we click on the logo we want the user to be taken to the home page so I'll just tap hash over here and for the logo I'll just tap LB dot and uh, here we can see we have the logo All right now let's go ahead and add the menu items so for that we'll create an unordered list and we'll also give it a class of menu items and in that we will have list items and uh, we need to have these many items over here so we need to have home blog about and contact so let's add these over here we'll add them inside anchor tags and uh, here I'll just type home I'll just copy this list item and paste it three more times and the next thing we need to have is blog and then we need to have about and then we need to have contact all right that's it with the navigation menu so we have the logo and the navigation menus now the next thing we will add is uh, this heading so for that let's create a division and let's give it a class of hero section or we can also create a header so I'll just type header and we'll give it a class of hero section now in the header we need to have an h1 and uh, here for the heading I'll just type live blogger and if you go back to our design we can see we have the header over here and the next thing we need to have is a paragraph now in the paragraph we'll just type learn web design for free now the next thing we will add is a button so here we can see we have this button called watch demo so for the button I'll just create an anchor tag and uh, we'll give it a class of btn and here I'll just type watch demo Right, now let's go back to our design and here we can see we have the heading the paragraph and the button All right now the next thing we will add are the social media icons so for that let's create a division outside the header so let's create a division with the class of social and in that we will have anchor tags and let's add the icons over here so we will add the icons from fontawesome.com so here I'm in fontawesome.com and we need to get the icons of Pinterest Facebook and Instagram so let's type Pinterest over here and this is the icon that we need so let's click on the icon and this is the code for the icon so let's click on this code to copy it and let's go back to our HTML and paste it over here inside the anchor tag and if you go back to our design we can see we have the icon of Pinterest displayed over here now in the same way let's add the icons of Facebook and Instagram so let's copy this anchor tag and let's paste it down two more times and the next one is Facebook and the last one is Instagram so here we can see all the logos are displayed over here all right that's it with all the elements of the desktop version now let's add the elements for the mobile version so let's decrease the width of the screen now here we can see for the mobile version we need to have this menu icon and we also need to have this close icon and also these menu items over here so for that let's go to the nav and here we can see inside the nav we have the logo and the menu items and here after the ul I'll just create a division with the class of menu button and here we will add the menu icon so we'll get the menu icon from a website called hero icons so here I'll just search for menu and uh, here we can see we have a lot of icons I'll just select this icon right here so let's click on copy SVG and I'll just paste it over here so this is our menu icon if you go back to our design here we can see we have the menu icon displayed over here it is uh, really huge right now but we will style it using CSS later and the next thing we need to have are these menu items and this close icon so for that let's create a division so let's go outside the main container and here we'll just create a division with the class of mobile menu items 
and the first thing we will do is add the close icon so let's create a division with the class of close icon or close button and uh, let's go back to heroicons.com and I'll just search for close over here and let's copy this SVG and uh, let's paste it over here right now let's add the menu items for the mobile version so let's go outside this close button and we can just copy and paste the same menu items from here so I'll just copy this UL and uh, let's paste it over here inside the mobile menu items right now let's go back to our design and uh, here we can see we have the close icon and also the mobile menu items and also the menu icon so everything is being displayed without any problems and uh, that's it with the HTML of our design. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video we will style it using CSS and we will make it look like this. So if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.